Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question regarding count the number of user events performed by MacBook Pro users, both using Python as well as MySQL, and how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy, and this question has been asked in Apple interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, count the number of user events performed by MacBook Pro users Output the result along with the event name. Sort the result based on the event count in the descending order. So basically we are given a data frame called playbook events and our expected output is also a pandas data frame with two columns. So event name and the event count, right? So if you preview the data frame playbook events, so we have user IDs occurred at event type, event name, right? Location and the device. So basically for all the MacBook Pro users, we need to group by the event name and count how many users perform that event, right? So basically the first thing that we should do is we should use Boolean indexing to only keep those rows where the device is basically a MacBook Pro, right? So from this data frame called playbook events, what we can do is we can, you know, create a filter, right? So playbook events for the column device, right? if we write equal to equal to macbook pro right so basically this will create a filter of true false values and once it is passed to the data frame it will return only those rows where the values were true right so if i run this let's see what we are getting right so if you look at it every row is going to have macbook pro in the device column right so once we have this then what we need is basically for each of the event right how many users perform that right so what we can do is we can you know from this write group by and then event name right by event name and either you can you know after grouping by a reset index or here only you can you know make sure that the python does not take this as an index so you can write as index is equal to false so you won't need to do reset index after this right so a group by this and then from the user id column right count the number of users because that is what we need to do count the number of user events performed by the macbook pro users so from the column user id what do we need to do is we need to count right let me run this let's see what we are getting so if you look at different event names and the uh, count of the user id so obviously in the output you need to alias this as event count so first thing we should do is we should change the name and then since this should be ordered in a de descending manner right so we need to also sort it so first thing is let's do rename so rename and then what do we need to rename columns and pass a key value pair right so we need to change it from user id right to event count right so that is what we have in the output right event count this should be in quotes right okay so let me run this again so here we have the updated name right now we need to sort this as well so we write dot sort values and by which column right so by the event count column in a descending manner so we write ascending is equal to false right let me run this okay so now we have the output right which is exactly similar to the expected output now let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah everything is green and this is how we do it this in python right now let's see how the corresponding code looks like in mysql again same question right we are given a table called playbook events and expected output is same as well event name different event counts order in descending manner if we look at the table playbook event same all the columns right and all the values in each of the columns right so here also we need to do so from this playbook events we need to only keep those rows where the device column has value is equal to macbook pro right and then what do we need to do is we need to group by the event name column right group by the event name column so basically this column and then count the user ids so you know if i return event name and then count the user 
id and alias this as event count right so i have one question here why did i do count of user id and not count of distinct user id because same macbook pro user can do multiple events right so basically you can have you know one user you know on a macbook pro does a particular event on a particular date and the same user then again does the same event on a next date right so that is why we are using user id and not counting the distinct user ids so once we have this we need to order by right so order by event count in descending manner okay so this looks good let me run this so we have the output which looks exactly like the expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah everything is green and this is how we do it again very simple question all we had to do was you know from the table or data frame called playbook events we only kept those rows where the device was a macbook pro because we need to you know count the number of user events performed by macbook pro users and then for each of the event try to count the number of user ids not the number of distinct id user ids because same user id using a macbook pro can perform a same event multiple number of times right and then we ordered by event count in descending man so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video